Guys, I really hate to be the bearer of bad news for some of you, but the market is about to change and things are going to get crazy very soon. Now, we have some very interesting things going on. People don't seem to be paying attention enough. They seem to be wanting there to be more downward momentum. They want to buy Bitcoin at 50,000, at 40,000 and Guys, I'm here to tell you, I don't think that's going to happen. Maybe it does. Maybe you do get that opportunity. And even if it did happen, I guarantee you, if you're waiting for it, 95% of you will not buy it. But right now, we're seeing something very interesting happening. Technically, fundamentally, and we just had some very big news regarding our Ethereum ETF. Let's quickly just look at Solana's technicals here. We do have our uh, symmetrical triangle that we were watching. It did break under it. And right now, guys, we may get proof that we are going to continue lower for Solana if we get rejected here. So let's wait to see what happens here. As you know, I had my stop loss in for my Solana trade. So that gets stopped out, sadly. And I'm sure we'll go absolutely rocket ship <laughs> from here. But what I'll do is I'm just going to wait a little bit of time to see if we enter back into this little box here. And if we do, I probably will just open up the trade again with another tight stop loss in order to get the upside, right? So if you want to follow me on that trade, sign up to Margex, get your $10,000 deposit bonus. It doesn't matter where in the world you are. And guys, go and sign up to the free Discord that I have down there in the description. It's just under the Margex link and you can get access to these completely free trades. And look at this, guys. We got a CRV trade that we opened the other day, 121% profit already. Sorry, I'm in the way. 121% profit right there you can see so awesome stuff here if you guys want access to that completely free group the link is in the description now let's jump over to bitcoin a little bit more here and let's take a look and figure out what we're going to do so we have our inverse head and shoulders that I may have drawn out wrong here. We may be just putting in the second shoulder right now. That could be one thing. So we still might want to break the 71. And guys, we have taken out a lot of the liquidity. This is very good. I'm getting more and more bullish every day. We've taken out more than 50% of the liquidity that I spoke about. And we've got a behemoth $9.1 billion of short liquidations when Bitcoin hits the old all-time high. This isn't above the all-time high this is the old all-time high nine billion dollars guys we had 11 billion dollars and that is what sucked us from here down to the lows of 64,000. now as i told you bear case is 60,000. i'm not angry if that happens because i'll buy loads of bitcoin down there i'll continue to buy solana i'll open my trades down there that'll be great but we've taken out more than 50 percent here so i'm being pretty bullish right now and with this level of liquidations that sit above us we could be getting an almighty short squeeze happening pushing us all the way up to those old all-time highs absolutely wrecking all of the shorts in this market now as we know when this chart was flipped, it acted as a magnet to the downside. Now, the chart has flipped the other way, and I think it's just a matter of time before we start to see the fireworks we've been waiting for. The market is finally getting away from euphoria. This has got to be broken, but let's just see. This doubt was down here. Yesterday, it's here. Now, it's falling back. These are all the signs that we want, right? And Bitcoin is showing some strength this morning, 65,400. If we go to the overall market, give that a little refresh, we can see we're up 0.61%. So one thing I would be doing, guys, is watching the meme coins. Okay, watch the meme coins closely because this run so far, what we know is that the meme coins run first. So in the last 24 hours, we've seen about 2 to 10% on the meme coins. Bet, uh, Brett on base is... Uh, front running everyone here at a 10% move. But look, they're starting to move. Mog, MAGA, 42%. MAGA is interesting because we are paying attention to a po political slash Chinese meme coin that's just had a little bit of a pullback here. Uh, Sean Paul, this has done incredibly well. Still up over 2x since we first started talking about it. And uh, a very interesting project with a team that hasn't been selling. So this is something we haven't seen in the market before pretty much ever. But pay attention to the memes, all right? Pay attention to these because they front run the market and then we can take a guess as to whether the altcoins might start to run. Now, breaking, the SEC has informed consensus that it's closing its investigation into ETH's status as tra and transactions as possible securities, guys. And what is this gearing up for? This is, of course, gearing up for ETH uh, S1 approval and trading to start 
very soon and should happen in the next few weeks, guys. So in the next couple of weeks, Ethereum is going to get its ETF and that's going to start trading, right? Are you going to look back on whenever the last couple of weeks and think, wait, I was bearish? I was commenting on Connor's channel, calling him an idiot for still being bullish when Ethereum's ETF was just about to be approved. Come on, guys. Like, what? What? With that said, Solana might get its own ETF. This is the most bullish we've been. And yes, there is absolute blood in the market. My portfolio is down in USD value loads. Don't get me wrong, but I'm going to stick to my guns and I'm going to continue to dollar cost average to trade. And that's what works for me. You guys do whatever it is you want because uh, I'm not your financial advisor. So don't come crying to me if we continue to go lower. But according to Rekt, we are in the end of the bear trap. This might be your last chance to buy the dip. But right now, there are too many altcoins. Most won't take off. Very interesting point here. So look, this is probably where we are. This is kind of where I think we are. But the point is that you have to pick wisely because a lot of altcoins will not move. A lot of them will just be left in the dust. So we've seen that happen with XRP, for example. Nothing at all has happened. Now, I still hold some XRP. It's basically a stable coin. So who cares if I'm holding it? But one day it might explode or it might just do nothing. So make sure you pick the right ones. In order to pick the right ones, I think a great start is following the projects with big communities. That's what the entire YouTube DCA portfolio is. Jasmine being the best performer here, we've made a ton of money on that. Alpherium being the newest ad here, which is currently the worst performer, but huge communities behind them. That's one way I've figured out how to find great opportunities. And look at our meme coin portfolio, down quite significantly. Actually, another interesting piece of data we found here. Look at this, meme coin portfolio, this is, uh, it comparison to Bitcoin, blue and gold, and then our YouTube DCA compared to Bitcoin. Look at this and the alt altcoins. And guys, it goes to show dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin is the safest, best upside you can ask for, right? It's definitely not safe, but so far to this point in the market, of course, we're down significantly on the altcoins, but to here, you would have been better off just dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin and ignoring all of the news. So that is why Bitcoin is still my largest position in my portfolio because I treat it like an ETF, right? It's just like an ETF, uh, a stocks and shares ETF, the S&P 500. It basically gives me upside and access to the market without thinking too much about anything, all right? With that said, we got more news to go through, guys. Fidelity Custody Address accumulated 4,123 Bitcoin today worth 269 million USD. I think MicroStrategy started buying from their convertible senior notes. Big stuff there. Fidelity has been selling 5,500 Bitcoin in the last four trading days. And as we've discussed before, the people who buy and sell ETFs are, yes, big, smart, clever institutional investors, but it's also you and me. It's also retail investors who panic when the market goes down. So of course, when there's euphoria, the ETFs are going to be having huge inflows. When there's fear in the market, the ETFs are going to be having huge outflows. Don't let that sway you and panic you in the market. And of course, we are having a recession to come very soon. But before that, in history, every single time there's been a recession, we have a blow off top, guys. So with that said, guys, if you do want to come and trade, come and join me over in the completely free group. The link is down there in my description. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.